Next into the den tonight is fledgling product designer Sophia Ferguson, who wants a dragon on board to make her baby business boom. I need that extra step to take us to where it needs to go. And I can't do that on my own now. Hi, I'm Sophia, and I'm here today to look for investment of £50,000 for 20% share in my business. Tickle Tots is my brand of modern cloth nappies and accessories designed for adventurous tots. And this is an opportunity to support a startup which has doubled its sales in the first 18 months of trading. Growing up in rural Mid Wales, I've always had a love for the environment. In the UK alone, we send one million tonnes of disposable nappy waste to landfill every year. But for every child in full-time cloth nappies, that saves five and a half thousand disposables from entering landfill. When my daughter was born, I really wanted to do my part and use cloth nappies. However, I really struggled to find a cloth system that worked for us. So I hit my sewing machine and Tickle Tots was born. The features include rise snaps to adjust the size to last your baby from birth all the way up to potty training. We have hook and loop closing for quick and speedy changes. Our new nappy, which we recently launched, has a waterproof shell which can be wiped clean, reused and a new set of boosters snapped in. The UK nappy market is worth £817 million, with a global market worth of £43 billion. I'd now like to bring you some samples and open the floor to any questions. On a mission to convert parents from disposable nappies to cloth... Thank you, Sophia. Sophia Ferguson is looking for £50,000 for 20% of her company. First up, dad of two young children, Tej Lalvani, who's poised for a lesson in the cloth nappy basics. I love the quality. It's really, really good, the fabric, the materials, and it looks very nice as well. I just want to understand how this works. Basically, before babies are on solids, it just goes straight in the wash with an extra rinse cycle. It's absolutely fine. Once they go on solids, you can buy a flushable liner. You can get bamboo ones, which is a thin layer. Literally goes in here, all the moisture wicks through to the core, and then it catches the solids. Right. So you said you doubled sales in 18 months. Talk to me about that journey. So in the first year, we took sales of about £8,000 from the UK. We made a net loss of about £100. This year, we've taken over £23,000 and we'll end up with a net profit of around 3000 And have all your sales this year still been in the UK? No, we've, we're now in Italy and Germany. I would actually say that it was probably 60% UK, 40% okay. Europe. With a high quality product and early signs of growth, Sophia seems to be meeting with Jenny Campbell's approval. Now, Tej Lalvani wants to get to the bottom of whether the markup on her product is just as impressive. What is your retail price of, of this? So, of the original design is $16.99, whereas our new design comes in at $18.99. What is your cost? About £6. And that's made in the UK? No. They're currently made in China. And what's your wholesale price? So on the nappies is £10.50. Wow, so your margin's only about £4. Um, At the moment, a small fry for the manufacturers. And the more we can order, the better the pricing can come. At the moment, I air freight it in, so that price is landed cost. Whereas if I can sea freight it, again, my margins are going to improve. Have you approached the big retailers? I approached John Lewis recently and waiting to hear back but I haven't been confident enough to approach the really big boys yet because I need to iron out the manufacturing side of things. What's the problem with your manufacturing? I'm sure with every startup, cash flow is always a bit of a tricky one. So I could never order enough stock to keep me going for six months in order to place the next order. So now we've literally got final samples landed yesterday from a new manufacturer, which is going to give us a 30-day lead time. What do they charge you to print a metre of fabric? Well, it's coming in at about £1,000 for 200 metres. So he's charging you £5 a metre? Yes. It's expensive. It is. Because it's probably this outer fabric here. Yes. It's a waterproof, breathable fabric. No one 
two pounds a metre, 250. Um, look, I think you've got something. I like the product. The problem is, have you got a business that can grow? It's a small business, tiny. Really? Well, 23,000 pound turnover is tiny. Identifying weaknesses in her supply chain, manufacturing guru Tuka Suleiman is wondering whether there's potential in Sophia's product. Have her non-disposable nappies whetted the appetite of a very green Deborah Meaden? It's interesting for me because whilst it's clearly a baby product, it's actually an environmental issue. I've got a baby, I need nappies. I can't bear the waste that's going into landfill. The actual cloth itself What's its environmental process and its environmental credentials? Or is it purely and simply that you can keep it for longer? It's the fact that you can keep it for longer, even taking into account the washing, including the production of the raw materials themselves. These were still coming out as better for the environment than a disposable nappy. So you don't foresee scare stories in the future saying, oh my goodness, we've now gone into cloth and look what terrible things that's doing to the No, world. and I think that was another driving force to using bamboo because it's sustainable, you know, it's quickly grown and there's natural antibacterial properties to it. So there's lots of added bonuses that way as well. A confident response on the environmental credentials of the product from the eco-entrepreneur. And now it looks like Peter Jones has some inside information about the nappy industry. I think I know quite a lot about this marketplace because my other half, Tara, has got a business which actually is about to launch. And one of the big lead products is a nappy. And I spent a lot of time understanding, researching, working in the marketplace. The market is pretty much owned and predicated by one company, Procter & Gamble, and all of those brands within that global empire. What you've created is really great. And I can see you selling a few into the smaller outlets, which are pretty niche. But in terms of making this a mainstream product, I think you haven't got a chance. I appreciate your comments. I mean, I think just looking at our competitors, and you can see that they're obviously massive. And I think there's room in the market for somebody else to come and compete against that. Well, I'm clearly conflicted, but I'm not going to discourage you from keeping this going because it's, it's beautifully made. Thank it you. really is. I just don't believe that this is a big opportunity for scale. So, sadly, I'm out. Peter Jones is the first dragon to dump the deal as he raises a conflict of interest and doubts about the company's prospects. Will Jenny Campbell, who earlier seemed impressed, go one step further and make an offer. I love the product. I'm definitely going to buy some of these when someone makes me a grandma. <laughs> you are very bubbly and engaging. You're a very investable entrepreneur. If I was to invest, it's more because I'm investing in you. You will make a lifestyle business out of it. But overall, it's just not an investment. So I wish you all the best. Get out there and compete, but I'm out. This has been battering against the marketplace since it started. The marketplace has been over here with disposables, and there's always been that growing market of the environmental issue. It's becoming even more pertinent now. Yes. I don't think you expect to own the market. I expect you want to take a small piece of that growing band of people. Yeah. But for me, my gut instinct is telling me this market is not huge. So I'm really sorry. I'm out. Sophia, I'm trying to like the business and I like the product. But I'm just struggling in terms of the fact that it's going to take some time to grow the business. And probably if I invest my money, I don't see a return for, for a very long time. So I'm afraid I'm not going to be putting my money in today. I'm out. Thank you. Three more dragons hang the nappy maker's investment proposition out to dry. Now only Tuka Suleiman, who already has investments in the children's market, 
can rescue the pitch. It's a difficult one. I'm torn between the business and you. How much money have you put into this? About £25,000. Right. And how do you live? You've got... Um, I'm currently working two nights a week as a carer and my husband works full time. If I invest in this, my involvement would be huge to start with. You need a team around you. Hmm. Difficult one. I think you need big support. So I would take over all the commercial side of the business. You're all responsible for the brand, the designs, the creation. Okay. That interests you. Uh, yes, I would be open to that. I'm going to make you an offer. But it comes at a huge price. So I'll give you all the money, but I want 50%. It's a lot. Okay. Can Do you I want to think about it? Yeah, do you mind if I have just have a, yeah. a moment? For Sophia to give away half of her company is an agonising decision. It's more than double the share she originally had on the table. But with a dragon on board, could the gains outweigh the cost for the budding entrepreneur? Um, it's a lot. <laughs> um, would there be an option to own a bit more later down the line? Look, if, when I get my money back, yep. well, I'll give you back 10%. Yep. And you would have control. I, I would like to accept that offer then. Good. OK, great. great. Well done. Thank well done. you. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you great. so much. Well Thank done, you, done, everyone. Well Thank, you. Thank you. Despite giving away half of her company, Sophia leaves the den flushed with success. I'm so happy for her. Well done, Tuka. That's a big percentage, 50%. Yes, but we'll soon find out how big this market actually is. I feel amazing to have Tuka on board. I wanted to keep control of the company, but I also completely understood what he could offer was fantastic. He's just going to be perfect for the business. <laughs> <laughs>